we are going to be a prosperous state. I make it affordable and efficient for everyone. If we are going to manage our finances responsibly and run our state like a business, so we can help our fellow customers, our fellow Mainers, then we must make the tough choices. We must make the right decisions and we must pay our bills. We cannot play politics with people's lives. We cannot wait any longer. We need to pay our bill. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. I am very much interested in going back out with the contract because the contract was signed 10 years ago so is an abomination to the state. It is a tragedy to the state. We left too much money on the table. And quite frankly, I'd be more than happy to buy that contract and retire and go away because it is very lucrative for the contract holder. I believe we need to put a contract out in, in an RFP out that puts a lot more money into the coffers of the state and less money out in the private sector. Because the private sector on this particular contract, it was, I, I looked at this contract as a fire sale. And frankly, you never call it Martins. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I should have bought it when I saw it at Martins. But uh, uh, what part of the operations would the state put out to bid? The state would put out the management, the logistics, the delivery, everything except counting the money. One more. Uh, actually, this was a three-part first question. I think what is it? I okay. uh, and what will be the process for selecting a bidder? We'd go out and have a bid. And this uh, second question was just one question to yourself. There have been constitution, uh, constitutional issues raised with your plan, and we understand that you're working with the AG's office to redraft these parts. Uh, what are the expected changes to the bill? Well, frankly, I believe that there is no constitutional issue, uh, and I'm willing to ask the law court to weigh in on it. Uh, and it's always been my plan that if there is a constitutional challenge, I have no problems in going to the Supreme uh, Court of Maine to ask them for their judgment. We've had it looked at internally, externally, by many attorneys, and I feel very, very strong that our position is correct. And the last easy question, Mr. Chair, is uh, under your plan, when will the state pay back the hospital? I think that if uh, you send me the bill to the, I, I brought my pen, I would <laughs> sign it, and I think in 45 days we could have the money in the hands of the, of the uh, hospitals in addition to the other $100 million that has been approved and ready for sale. Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor. Your testimony. Anyone else? Yes. Senator Mason. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Governor, for being here today. Uh, my question for you is about the state's bond rating. Do you think that um, us not paying our debts would affect the state's bond rating? I am very concerned, and frankly, the reason the bonds that have been uh, approved and not sold is because of some discussions that were that went on with the rating agencies with their concern of us continuing to take on new debt without paying our bills. And I'm very fearful that uh, we could take a hit on our, our bond rating. And frankly, I used to think that had we paid up, had we paid the hospitals two years ago, I would have been very, very comfortable to tell you that we were not going to lose our bond rating. But at this point, with all that's been said and done and all the jockeying that's going around and uh, too many people speaking about not paying our bills, I'm very, very fearful. 